This is starting to kind of lift off a little bit too easy. So it still serves her, but this should be clipping down. And you can see that the attachments are, they were blue, and now they're kind of turned green, which is quite often the way that it happens. So they're, they're turned a different color. So we're going to kind of get those out. And we'll do that first. So this is the, the core tool. And on the core tool, you can see that it has uh, three parts. There's a part on the end here that helps you to put the implants, I mean the locators on and off. There's a little kind of part that kind of attaches to the locator. So it's a smart little tool. Then we have the part that's going to take out the resilient cap, the male cap out of here. So it's going to pull it out here. And we also have if we unscrew this, the part that's going to put it in, right there. Okay, so it's smooth on the end, so it's the part that's going to put it in. So what you do is you take this, turn it back three turns, and the end is going to be so that it will disappear on the end. So you can see how it's gone inside on the end. Then you kind of stick this in, sometimes it comes right out, but you kind of pull that out like this. You can see that the first attachment is this come out just that fast. So I take this and turn it back down and then that's going to pop off. So we get rid of that. So we took one out. Does anyone want to try taking it out? If you want to try it, you can come back. But you can see that it's actually when it's like this it will fit right in and then I guess kind of pull it and it snaps it out. So then you can go turn it back in it pops it off the end. So now I have two of them out and two of them in. So sometimes this is all you have to do to change things, but we're also going to change the uh, female studs because. Yeah, you want to try it? I have one coming up, so. Yeah. I don't want to be felt, though. No. Okay. You can just film your hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some medium gloves over there. Oh, these super large. Yeah. Just screw it back. Three turns, right? Yep. So you just take it back three turns. Two, three. You see how this part is going to go inside? Oh, so three big turns. Yeah. Okay. You can even tap it. So once it goes oh, inside. I'm not doing that. I'm doing this. Okay. Perfect. So you turn it back three turns and then yeah. insert it all the way in fully. Yeah. And have it flat to the bottom. Yeah. And then pull back out. Pull so it straight. But it's you not don't. That easy. <laughs> no, but you don't. You don't. What you want? I'll do this yeah. one. But when you go in, yeah. you push it in like that. So see how it's yep. it's held in now. Yeah, yeah. So then when you go to pull it out, yeah. it's going to grab it just like a locator would. But you need to be able to have it so it's sitting like that. So when you have it in, okay. it's attached in by itself. So okay. now try to pull it straight out. Oh, that's easy. Yeah. Okay. okay. Can I try one more? Yeah. yeah. And then we'll get you to try it. Should I wash my hands? Okay, yeah, you put some gloves on. Well, that's good because I didn't take them out of the package. Yeah. That's so good. the big thing is you have to turn back the three the three turns. Yeah. yeah. And then that gets rid of the middle part because the middle part fits in to the part of the locator. Do you have those too? So did I need to order the attachment, which is good to have anyway, because this also removes the locators, right? But you also need the other torque. Yeah, this is just a quickie thing when you're playing with things. It's a good question. Yeah. The best thing to do is to yeah. buy this little mandrel. That's what here. I did. I bought the mandrel that fits in. Okay, so this little mandrel is going to fit yeah. right there. It fits in my prosthetic kit. Yeah. And so that little mandrel replaces this part for putting it in. Okay. It's a lot easier to tighten it down. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to put this back in. We'll get you to put okay. it back in. So when you put this back in, mm -hmm. and you can. 
you have so to kind of hold it so gravity will help you. So you turn it upside down and let gravity help you, and then you kind of push it in. You just push it in. And you hear the snap. Oh, that's so neat. Yeah. Once you have it in, it's, oh, it's not that's hard. Easy. No, it's easy. But if you don't unscrew it three okay. turns, it's not going to work properly. And you have to hold it. Okay. 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 Thank you very much. So we'll, we'll put it back in one more time. So you can try. But you saw when I first so went to the patient, it was not staying down at all. Yeah. And so it's critical to have it stay down. So these were blue, and the blue often turns green. Actually, why don't you put the blue ones in for us? Okay. okay. So we're going to put this back in now. Okay. So I'll give this to you. So I'll just lay the blue down and what, I snap what, them in place. What you don't want to do is use this to put it in. Okay. You want to make sure it's the part that's smooth that the underneath? The inside part. Okay. Yeah. Is it because you warp it? Or when you, you, just, you damage it. Okay. You, you, so that piece just goes... So you just kind of dispose of it. Just because it's yeah. larger than the actual size of the... Yes. So once we get this done, we're going to try it back in the mouth and just see how it fits over the locators like they are. Which ones do you want them in? It doesn't matter? Nope. So they're just finicky little things because they stick to you, right? Yeah, but once you... Once you get it, then you can actually snap it down. Oh, you really And you hear the snap. Yeah, it's nice. Very satisfying. <laughs> yeah. Okay. In the overdenture impression I did the other day, I didn't realize those little black things could wear out inside the coping, so that's a good thing to have around too, right? Yeah. Yes. Things like that. Usually you, have, you can get them in packs of that's, five. Yeah. And so, so I'd say that's it. You can get them in packages. And, so know, that, or even... Four. So you'll keep a bunch of these around where you have quite a few of those patients around too. Yeah. And so if you're yeah. going to do a reline, yeah. you need to put the black caps in to do your reline. We'll go over that at the next, yeah. next time. <coughs> okay. So you want to have it so that there's a little dot on the inside of it, you, and that's what the little dot fits inside of that. Oh, I see. It's upside down. Yeah, yeah, it's upside down. So right. show them upside down. Okay. So you can see that you can see a smooth back of the one in the middle, so you don't want to try to put it in that way. So you'll flip it over. Just trying to flip that guy over is a little hard. <laughs> Got on the other hole now. Very tricky. <laughs> So then you snap it down in. But you use gravity. Yeah. When you're putting them in, try to use gravity because they'll, okay. they'll fly around. Well, I ordered this, but I didn't open it yet or yeah. look into it. So I no. would have had quite some time. Had you not showed me, yeah. I would have been sort of probably calling Dave on the phone for help or running over to see Frank or something. <laughs> that is sticky. They're a little wet right now, too. Yeah. So how often do you change them? Like it depends. It depends on the occlusion and the patient. Okay. Because okay. if there's movement, yeah. Like if you have a two implant overdenture, you're yeah. going to change them more okay. than what Marjorie would have. Like potentially every six months or nine yeah. months, and they're cleaning yeah. or yearly for sure. And or? these are usually, you know, yeah. maybe ten to eleven, twelve dollars a piece.